What's, What's up, Wubbies? Welcome back to another brand new video. We missed you guys so much, and we appreciate those who commented asking us questions. Aquí tenemos Jollibee. We got like, Loki, we got a lot of food. From our perspective, it looks like a little, but yeah. it's actually a lot, guys. I get full with this sandwich and a drink dude literally. yeah and me i get full with the sandwich and then i usually order the sandwich and the spaghetti what do you usually order Wolvie? just the the spicy chicken sandwich and and a mango peach pie yeah and you just get like a little bit of the spaghetti huh yeah we share usually the spaghetti but this time we kind of almost got one thing like of everything yeah. <laughs> almost we just needed the crunchy chicken yeah. which we haven't tried but our favorite has been the chicken sandwiches oh my god it's been like the mm, it's goof. been the best chicken sandwich it's that we've tasted besides popeyes yeah it's and Chick -fil -A. it's such a like simple food but it, i like this one too because of the jalapenos that they put yeah huh? I, yeah i like that there's like a crunchy yeah the crunchiness. jalapeno like mm -hmm. just right there like yeah oh, that's so, so much good. flavor i can't wait to eat We'll be in the sauce too. The sauce is so good. Like inside yeah, the sandwich. Yeah, uh -huh, me too. I like the sauce too. It's tipo como el de Popeyes, huh? Más o menos. Yeah, it almost reminds me of Popeyes, honestly. Yeah. And we also got uh, two um, mashed potatoes yes. and a side of gravy uh, for oh for our chicken tenders. We are we actually got chicken Ooh, tenders as well. It's for the chicken tenders. Yeah, and we just could not leave without getting our pineapple juice bomb it's dude so good, yeah. it's probably dough but bruh i love dough if it is <laughs> you know what i'm talking about the dough juice that they sell in the oh yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but we still fall for it huh <laughs> so bomb dude we'll be and then also we've never tasted the chicken tenders and we've never tasted no. what else the mashed potatoes oh yeah uh-huh yeah, so we're tenders. gonna be trying it out too the tenders and the mashed potatoes are the new thing i mean it's nothing crazy really but for us, it's new, so... Yeah. So, if you guys have gone to Jollibee's, comment below what you guys usually get. I know Jollibee's are pretty rare, pero tenemos uno aquí cerquitas. And it's yeah, kind of new, me. too, because there's not really, like, Jollibee's in L.A. No, I'm, uh -huh. I haven't seen one in, like, downtown L.A. I haven't seen one over there, dude. Like, these areas, no, I only in Cerritos there's one. Yeah. And that's the one we went uh -huh. to. Doritos. Well, I'm gonna heat up and my then, sandwich. Do you want me to heat your Oh, yeah, yeah, low key. Yeah, I want mine. Good it's a, it's a good little cold. The microwave. It's a mission, guys. So, when we like buy food, we gotta kind of have it sit on the side for a little bit. And unfortunately, it gets cold and stuff. Wow, we're like setting up cameras and mics. So, it's like a mission, dude. But the good thing we got like a microwave, too. My suegros actually gave us, gave us a microwave. Oh, yeah. So, shout yeah, out to yeah, my yeah. suegros. I love them. I was so, so happy amazing. when we got it. I know, that was so random, dude. Yeah, they gave us a lot of support. Maybe the mashed potatoes are good. <sighs> Bro, I know. Did you smell it? I can smell it from here. My first bite is going to be a sandwich. What's going to be yours, babe? Oh, my. Lo bueno que agarraron el show ustedes, like, cuando teníamos todo bien arregladito. Oh, Wubby, I forgot to tell them no tomato. It's okay. Wubby, I need a drink first. Oh, nice. I, I don't need a drink. I'm good. Mm. I usually eat this with no tomato and no lettuce, just jalapenos. But this time I'm gonna try the whole thing. Oh my god, this looks so good, guys! Look. Mmm. Ah, oh, oh smells so god, nice. Oh my god, will be the jalapenos. All right, provecho, baby. Amazing. Delicious. Alright, this tastes with mashed potato right here. Mmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. but, mm, I'm gonna share with you. It's a little hot. Mmm. Oh god. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm. bueno. Get a little fra 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 from like the guy from TikTok. He's always eating fries and he says that. All right, we're going to start with the questions now. Okay. So let's start with this one. It says, are you guys planning to have any kids? If so, how many? Uh, I like that question. I like to think about that now. Like, I, I, like, I, don't, like, I don't know. I want to have like three kids, dude. Three 
three? Yeah. What about you? You want more? No, I want like two. You just want two? Well, it's because I'm scared of giving birth. Well, you. That's why I'm like, I'm gonna give birth three times. Yeah, I feel like, you. That's I feel the first you. thing I think. But maybe the first, after the first time, after you experience the first time, maybe you're gonna be not too, like, scared. No, they say, dicen que al contrario. Oh, really? If you have traumada. I would like a boy and a girl. Mm. What about you? I, I want a girl, too. I want a little girl. For sure, a boy. I want both, too. Say, after the first experience, you don't get, like, that fear. You would want to have more than more than two. I'm trying to have yeah. three. Uh -huh. if, if you're yeah. not that scared at the time, mm -hmm. if you're down, I'm I'm down for three. That and then, cool. like, let's say I was pregnant right now. Would you want to have a boy or a girl? I would like to have a little girl first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With me, I'm like, I'll be just as happy whether it's a boy or a girl. Cause if it's a boy. It'll be a little Adancito. And if it's an Erica, it'll be like a little me. Will yeah, be dude, that's why, that's why I would like a girl. Uh, that's why I have said first. Really? Like and girl. that's why I would like a boy. Because I feel like I'm going to see you like when you were little. That's no, funny, huh? No, that's, that's why I want a boy. Like, I want to see him like with his little guitar and everything. <laughs> that's going to be exciting when we come to that moment, dude. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. It's going to be so nice. Okay, next question says... What is the first thing you noticed of each other when you first met? When I first met you, like saw you in my class. My nalgas? <laughs> well, I, I noticed that you were short, but but that wasn't like what, like, or like, oh, she's short. Oh, I'm in love. No. Mm -hmm. It's one of the things that I like about you, obviously. Mm -hmm. But I really fucking, I fell more in love with your smile, dude. Really? Yeah, fuck, fuck yeah, dude. Your smile and your eyes. Like really, really pretty to me. To me, hold on. Se, ¿Cómo se dice? Te me hiciste. And for the first, for the first time that I saw you, I was like, damn, she's fucking beautiful, dude. That's what I thought. Even with my horse teeth. Fuck that. You ain't got no horse teeth. Love me. Oh my god. You got a, you got princess teeth, love me. You got, Thank you me. got perfect teeth. I fucking love your teeth, love me. I think me. Like, first thing that I noticed about Adan, I think it was your eyes, for me. Because <laughs> you have, like, That's really funny. deep eyes. Because I don't have big eyes, Ovi. Oh, you know? but I love your eyes. Mm. And then, también, how respectful he is. My persona, like, I feel like my your, persona, your dude. Your manners. Yeah, my persona really made you fall for me even more, I feel, dude. Yeah, and that's why, girls, you shouldn't always be scared, like, Oh, I want to go out with him, but I'm going to ruin our friendship. Because that's what we did. Sometimes, this could be the outcome. Like, you never know. What if it's the happiest that you could ever be in your life? Uh -huh. So, stop sending, like, all your guy friends to the friend zone. If you think, I'm kind of falling in love with him. Mm -hmm. Freaking go for it. Mm. Like, you don't know. What if that's your soulmate? Yeah, it doesn't hurt to try. Yeah, I'm like, this is good as fuck. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Another question. If y'all can go anywhere in the world to live, where would it be? I would for sure stay here in LA. And maybe Beverly Hills or like Hancock Park. I really like those areas. What about you, Wobby? Anywhere here in California, dude. Mm -hmm. We really like California, honestly. Well, yeah, we're from here, so... We grew up here. Our childhood is here. Our family is here. Our friends are here. So, like, and it's California, like, tenemos poquito de todo, so. What if California did not exist, Wobby? Where would you go? I would probably go to, like. It could be a place where we've never been. Mm-hmm. I would go to Sa Salem, Massachusetts. Salem. I always bring it up. <laughs> so random. <laughs> I would go to, like, Montana. Really? I've never seen how that looks. Me neither, but I just... I just thought of it, Montana, or or even Oha Ohio. Se mira como vintage, las casitas ahí. I don't know. I think Ohio. Ohio is the one I would like to go. And you're gonna sing because my heart is in Ohio. I haven't heard of that. Spaghetti, could I borrow your fork? Yeah. Ooh, look at that spaghetti, y'all. And this spaghetti, guys, for those of you that haven't tasted this, it's actually a sweet flavor. 
And I think that's what makes made it's us so like weird. it. so weird. Yeah. Yo pensé que iba a estar como salty. Mm -hmm. O también hay unos spaghetti que venden que están como sin sabor. Mm -hmm. Like it's literally just like tomato sauce con los pinches noodles cooked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like ni le echan como tantita sal. Como de os así como medios agringados. But no, this one's really good. There's a question for Adan. They said, do people say Adan's name as Aiden a lot? My son's name is a Adan. And I hate when they call him Aiden. Siempre, yeah. ¿verdad, Wobby? Yeah, most of the time, when people read my name, they say Aiden. Yeah. When I was in uh, an elementary school, pretty much in my childhood, a lot of them would call me Adan, though. Mm -hmm. Adan. Hey, Adan. Adan. But, but now, like, they read it, most of the time they say Aiden. And it's kind of, it's very rare, actually, when someone pronounces it Adan when they read it. So most of the time, most of the time is Aiden. And sometimes I get a random Aiden or Aidan. Mm -hmm. Random as heck. That's, those are the most rarest ones though. But yeah, most of the time is Aiden. That's why, yeah, that's why I like mention my name or when I say my name, that's why I say Aiden. Cause it's just common. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes he even goes by Adam. It's just way easier to get around, you know, like, like uh, when they ask me for the name, like, when I order food or something, uh -huh. oh, can I get a name? Adam. There's nothing to lose. <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, it's an easier name to remember. And it sounds closer to Adan. Yeah. But if I say in Spanish, Adan, though, in the restaurant, Adan, mm -hmm. they kind of, like, get stuck sometimes. Mm -hmm. People. Like, Adan, Alan, Alan? Like, no, mm -hmm. Adan. They call you Alan a lot, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's why I just, I just go with Adam. Like, when they ask for my name, like... Mm -hmm. Or in the public or whatever all right so this next question says who is the freaky one you I, th are. I thought it was another one Wobby, what the hell no i'm not yeah, you are. you're not i am <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> i think you're more freakier than me well it's because i'm think. crazy huh yeah you're fucking bomb dude <laughs> you beat me with the freakiness because i'm a I'm freaky too, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Am I? Yeah, I will be. <laughs> Why do you laugh? That not true? <laughs> Tell me so I can step it up. Because you're a sweetheart. I am. Yeah, I'm just really respectful, dude. Yeah, I was going to say that. Nah, but I mean, when it comes down to it. Like, you know how I I'm told good. you guys that he never kisses me? I do. Yeah, but you're like, it's because I don't, like, I feel like your mouth is too clean. Nah, babe, but I do be kissing you, though. Yeah, you do. But it's, it just, ha it has happened sometimes that I'm like, nah, what we, <laughs> I don't kiss you because, like, I started to think about, like, the germs we have in our mouths and shit. Mm -hmm. And since, like, my mouth, I don't really think it's, like, hella percent clean. Yeah, that's why I just be like, nah, dude, like, I don't want to fucking have you kiss my gunky mouth, dude. <gasps> Literally. So that's why? why I'm like, nah. You think we're going to be kissing and then a tonsil stone is going to come out? Exactly. <laughs> but like, I don't care about yours, you know? Like, I'll actually eat them. Ew! <laughs> Ew! No, no. <laughs> no, but for real, like, that's true though, dude. People don't think about that. And, and it sucks because sometimes I do think about that. Yeah, like, how do y'all make out with people at the club? Like, single people? I know, scared, yes. Like, like Especially man, man, I met there, like, mugre, so a random ass person, you mean you start macking it up with them, dude. Imagine tonsil stone here and there. Nah, but let's be real in general. I do kiss you, babe. Yeah. Heck yeah. There's the next question says, Can you and Alan have a meet and greet? Mm -hmm. That'd be so cool. The Wolfie Fan meet and greet. Oh my god, imagine. And then we take Gordo. We'll take Goofy. I'll just, I'm sorry guys, but I'm gonna put a, a, a what's it called? A muzzle? A, a muzzle? He's muzzle? rude, guys. I'll put it on his mouth, guys, because I don't want him to be biting none of you guys. Yeah. Imagine. Uh, he, he's a sweetheart, but como que, like, sometimes se le sube, how are we? Yeah, he's a little brat sometimes. Mm -hmm. Someone said, how's the wedding planning? How is it, Wobby? We have not started wedding planning. Mm -hmm. We haven't because... We've been hella caught up with uh, not just work, but like with family and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, and also because we actually moved places, guys. I don't know if you guys noticed. We actually moved out from our first apartment. And we got a house. Yeah, we got a house. We 
enjoy this home way more than the, the, the apartment because uh, just a house dude nothing beats a house dude you have your own yard fucking, For Gordo. like neighbors aren't like literally they're not sharing or you know there's no common walls so it's like way more private mm -hmm. like we'll be loud as hell you know and they don't nobody will will hear us yeah, you could bump your corridos tumbados, man. Yeah. Oh, dude, I be yes. Like we got a like a sound bar system, like for our TV, cause we yeah. got a brand new TV too. And um, <clears throat> and yeah, we we could bump the music so much more, like less worrying about oh, you know, I'm bothering the neighbor downstairs or mm -hmm. next door or something. Like we don't have to worry about that, and it just feels really good, dude. So for now on, yeah, we're gonna be in houses, guys. Like. We love it. We yeah for our first house, like it's really, really bomb, dude. Thank, yeah. thank God. It's super cozy. We're, yes. And it it kind of looks exactly like the apartment, but better. Cause Gordo could go outside whenever he wants, mm -hmm. and there's just so many advantages. Like with the apartment, we had to go all the way down mm -hmm. to walk him, cause we lived in the highest floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we always had to take the elevator down and up. And every morning and that would get kind of worried for me too when i would walk him. yeah for when she would take her take him out by herself yeah i'll be like dang it but yeah that's kind of our our reason behind you know the wedding planning that we haven't started yet but we're hella looking forward to it yes that's gonna happen soon like like we gotta do it asap yeah because we really want yeah we really want to put our time into it and because it's, it's one in a lifetime thing, guys. One in a lifetime. And also, since the wedding is once in a lifetime, I do want to make sure that everything's perfect. Well. I don't want to, like, be in a rush. Like, I see en donde sea, no más para casarme. No, I want it to be perfect. I want the venue to be everything on point. My dress. Mm-hmm. A dance. Um, ¿Cómo se dice? Tu traje. My tux, yeah, my... my uh what do you call it? my goon suit <laughs> i don't even know are the chicken tenders good or do they taste like this no i don't want to be too um how do you say it i don't want to the hell was that i don't want to exaggerate but to be honest they're all right they're not all that i much prefer uh chick-fil-a's yeah oh yeah I love Chick-fil-A, they're really good. Yeah. Otra pregunta es si vamos a subir el video completo del robo. That was it. What I posted in my stories, I didn't record anything when it was happening because I didn't even know it was happening. Yeah. I saw as soon as they freaking almost crashed into yeah. me. That, it was... I was about to get hit by the thief. Yeah, because it was running, char like charging out the door, dude. Mm-hmm. And, uh... It happened so fast that like right after he left like we were able to get our phones out because we were so scared dude that taking something out or something we were we saw what was going on and we we're like dude we're gonna fucking get robbed too dude yeah that's literally what i thought when i saw what was going on i was like van a balasear. me too y yo estoy that, aquí en frente estábamos sentados in front of the door, like that. Because you know how Michoacanas, like, sometimes they're, like, long? See, that's what I thought, too. Because, especially, why? Because uh, a customer that was in line was, mm -hmm. like, trying to be the hero, pretty much. Because mm -hmm. he was, like, he tried to, like, get in front of him, blocking his way. And that scared me even And, more. um, you know, with the speed. I was like, he's fighting a thief? Oh, my God. With the speed of the, of the thief that he was just running, mm -hmm. like... You know, an impact. He fucking like knocked him over, knocked the customer over, and um, I thought the customer was gonna be able to have him down, like hold him. Uh huh. And I thought I was like, dang, he's gonna hold him. Um, and his his acquaintances are outside. They yeah, could, they were waiting in un carro con la puerta abierta. They could have easily came in if they would have saw their buddy like you know trapped. They would have went in there. You don't know if they have yeah. a weapon. Yeah, sacan la pinche pistola and they're like everyone. Put your fucking dude, hands dude, up. dude, 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 oh, because no. they could not care, dude, and just shoot it up. When the person went inside, the the rob, the thief. Yo ni me di cuenta. Me I was facing the door. I'm telling you guys. In the meeting. Yep. And right behind us was a cash register, and um, and I did not notice him, dude. Your dad said he did, but no, I don't think so. He noticed when he was 
when the guy was already trying to steal the stuff, he noticed. Dude, I... Because he looked like a regular customer. Yeah. I just heard, like, a bunch of stuff falling. Yep. I was like, what's going on? But but looking into more detail, like, if you were able to see the person, he, he, do, he did look sketch, dude. He had a beanie on, right? Mm-hmm. And, um... His pretty much his whole face except his eyes was visible. Mm-hmm. So that looked like okay, you're too covered, bro. It ain't fucking snowing outside for you to be that covered. But obviously you weren't able to see it because it was just too quick. It happened too quick, and well, obviously we were like facing, you know, behind it. Yeah, and it was scary because I was sitting down on the outer part of the table, mm-hmm. and usually I sit in the inner part. Yeah, yes, that on is, the wall that side. we did that would be. That happened? Like, what the heck? Yeah, usually I have Erica sit by the wall instead of, like, the, the pathway. Mm-hmm. But thankfully, everyone was okay, guys. Um, The employees were fine. I think we... Our experience was a little bit more harsh compared to for the employee because, uh, like, literally, they, they were, like, stumbling, falling right by our tables, dude. Literally right yeah, by us. Yeah, and the employees, they were, like... The employees were behind the big old counter of ice yeah, cream. Yeah, and so they have they were, a room they were chill. in the back. Yeah. Not, not saying they didn't face anything bad, yeah. or, you know? So, guys, remember that if you're working... Y ojalá y no, pero alguien entra a robar. Ustedes dejen que se, que se lleven lo que yeah, se dude. tengan que llevar. Yeah. As long as you guys are okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, your guys' life is way more valuable than a cash register or money, dude. Literally, just let it go. Someone said, would you guys ever start a podcast like talking about scary stories or certain topics? Yes, we will. And we, we will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> si un día Adán te dice que quieres ser mujer, seguro lo apoyarías, pero continuará la relación. If I wanted to be a girl, like, yeah. hey, you know what? being a man yeah. i'm trying to be a girl um i think i would be really sad yeah because i would be too if you were to tell me like yo you know what yeah. i can't be like this anymore die <laughs> i'd be like what <laughs> i would be you? scared of you you'd be scared of me because you would look like chloe kardashian too much <laughs> you know like when you wear the wig <laughs> This person said, can I be invited to the wedding, please? I love y'all. We actually want to invite some of you to the wedding. We don't want to get like too into detail about it, but we have thought about it, how huh, Yeah, we're, we're, actually, we're actually considering inviting, yeah. our, you know, one of our supporters. So we invite someone that we see a lot commenting, todo eso. It'll feel like we're inviting a friend. So that would be yeah. really cool. So if you get invited at the time, at that time when it comes, Va a ser la boda del año. Hopefully you can make it. So, um, how did you guys come up with Wubby or who started to say it? I think it was you, Adan. I started it? Yeah. Or I don't know. I think it's because we just started saying, like, I love you. No? Y se quedó? I love you? Yeah. Like my Wubby, like my lovey, Wubby. Yeah, it has it has relation to... Um, to love. Yeah, love for sure. Mm-hmm. All right, Wobby fam, this video is coming to an end. We appreciate you guys so much for the questions that you gave us. Comment down below if you guys want more mukbangs like this one. Also, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. We will leave all of our social medias down below. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Peace.